You got any science news? I really need some science news over here. Oh, thank you, much better. And the first piece of good news ever, and I mean that I've ever seen, scientists have reported a good positive change in the climate. The rate at which global temperatures are heating up is finally slowing down. Researchers at the University of Colorado at Boulder completed an analysis using temperature data from 2005 to 2020 against the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's forecast, or let's just call them IPCC for short. Now the IPCC selected 11 of 1,311 possible outcomes of the climate based on what we had in 2005 and 2010. And with comparing it to actual data from 2005 to 2020, scientists found that these worst case scenarios are now way less plausible than originally thought. This is due in part from renewable energy becoming cheaper and also energy efficient appliances and utilities. While they still expect several decades where CO2 emissions remain constant, we're still at least heading in the right direction for global decarbonization. So since we aren't gonna burn up in the next couple of years, you might as well ask your grandma to crochet you a smart TV that you can wear to school and show off to all your friends. That's right, researchers have developed a 46 inch woven display with smart sensors energy harvesting technology and computer storage integrated directly into the fabric. You know that Gucci is gonna purchase this right up and sell it for an arm and a leg, but this can be used for curtains that are TV'd, energy harvesting carpets, and interactive clothing. I mean, these fibers are literally knitted together using existing technology, so it is truly something that your grandma could do, as long as she has a laser welder. Grandma! What? This isn't grandma's house. And this is a golfing cockatoo? Well, in today's ad quantum space, researchers taught this cockatoo how to golf, just like I'm teaching you how to hit the like and subscribe button. Each cockatoo invented its own way to golf. Some were better at it than others, but no matter what, they got a treat for making it in the hole. Scientists say they use this to better understand learning methods, but I think they just enjoyed hanging out with cute animals, just like you enjoyed typing cute in the comments section. Mm -hmm. Ad quantum? <laughs> More like, ha, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Earlier this week, supercomputers caught black holes in 4K. Researchers have always been puzzled about why there are intense bursts of lights just outside a black hole's event horizon. By utilizing supercomputers, researchers modeled a black hole's magnetic field 1,000 times more detailed than we've ever done before. And from that simulation, they found where magnetic field connections are broken and created. And guess what? It's right where the flashes of lights are. So now it's just up to the scientists to collect the data and prove that their simulation is correct. And speaking of collections, just off the UKC in 1997, a cargo ship hit a once in a century wave causing 62 cargo containers to roll off the ship. And one of those cargo containers contained 5 million Lego pieces, which were just dumped into the ocean and these Legos are still washing up on UK's beaches today. Scientists, when taking one of these washed up Legos and analyzed it under X-ray fluorescence, they found that these Legos will take 1,300 years to degrade entirely. That is a lifetime of play for the sea, I guess, and for a lifetime of science news, you might as well watch last week's episode